The Luma versus saturation curve is very important and extremely useful. You can control the saturation for a certain brightness or certain luminosity. So you select your brightness, Luma, and change its saturation. The curve itself comes with two already set points. On the left, you are controlling the shadows. You will add the saturation for the shadows or remove the saturation from the shadows. On the right, you will be controlling the saturation for the highlights. You add saturation for the highlights or you remove the saturation for the highlights. In the middle here, you will be controlling the saturation for the midtones. If you add a point, you can take it up to add saturation for the midtones, take it down to remove saturation from the midtone. As you can see here, some shallows still have some colors and some highlights also still have some colors, but the midtones colors have disappeared. You have also here two points. One will set a point for the shadows and one will set the point for the highlights. So from the first point on the left to the black point, it is the shadows and from the first point on the right to the white point that you added is the highlights. You can come now in the middle, add a point and control the midtones even more without touching the shadows or the highlights. And this is the most important thing within Luma versus saturation. Of course, you can add now more points and narrow down the saturation the way you would like to control it. For example, something like this. You remove a lot of saturation for certain parts of the midtones. That is, for example, is over here and over here. And you increase the saturation just in the middle here. So Luma versus saturation, it's an important curve that will control for you the saturation for selected brightness. I will see you in the next lecture.